I'm better than my viewers, Andrew's Revenge. Who's Andrew by the way? Children and grown-ups and dead people, welcome to another I'm better than my viewers video, the series that I have never lost and even Magnum Carlos won't be able to be better than me. And today's viewer is a guy called Band Guy Benny U. A band guy but he got through the prison phase, I always welcome these people back to society. Night D5. This has to be one of the scariest positions ever for me, my pieces are not exactly very active, and my king is totally in the open here. I guess the ultimate question is whether or not my king can survive his three queens when they eventually get active. Knight takes d3. Ok so for your information, I actually always have a look through the positions before every view again begins, and for this position, I decided knight d5 was the first move so my opponent could respond with knight takes d1, as that is literally a free pawn, I didn't even consider anything else, so knight d3 actually ruined all of my preparations. Well but there must be nothing wrong with taking this bishop, creating a safe square for my king, and allowing a future pawn promotion. Knight g5. I want to keep my dark bishop because his king is on a dark square. Knight c5. Actually if he takes right now I'm down to take with my rook to open up my queen to b2. That would be really convenient. Didn't happen. I'll take then. Rook takes. King b8. f3. I'll make a queen first. Bishop takes c7. King takes c7. This is very problematic. I may end up blundering my king here. Queen takes d4. Okay his queens are coming. Somehow I can't even find a single good move here. I'll just take this rook then. Making room for bishop c3 pinning one of his queens, at least two is less dangerous than three. Queen takes d3. Bishop c3. And it seems I've just blundered a checkmate in four. What could I do anyway? Queen c4 check. King b8. Checkmate in 2. After all these years, we can finally see the first person ever to win against me in this series. And of course he missed it. Ha! Huh. Not even close, bishop takes d4 check. With one queen officially off the board, we don't have to worry about checkmates anymore, at least for the next 20 moves or so. Queen takes d4. It's our chance to cut down his number, let's trade down one more queen. Stockfish didn't like this move because of f2 arguing that black can make a new queen faster than white. But I mean who knows, maybe he'll blunder his knight here thinking it's a royal fork. He did. That blunders a horsey. And I mean who knows, maybe he'll take back my rook and blunder a very beautiful across the board checkmate in one. He saw it. But that move still gave up all of his advantages to bishop d6 blocking the check and counter attacking his queen. So in this position, we agreed to a draw. It is still very difficult to get a win for white as his pieces are all very active, so most likely this will be a draw anyway. But as always, since I started out on the losing side, I'm better than my viewers.